Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, this is our third video in inverter AC board. In this video, we will discuss low voltage power supply. In first video, we discussed filter and protection circuit for high frequency, for high voltage, for common mod, differential mod noises, high voltage arrestor, first stage filter, second stage filter, current surge protection for charging the capacitors like that and then we discussed in our first video then we discussed here we have a fuse then we have a NTC and this line will go to low voltage power supply from neutral line we take a line direct to the low voltage power supply section in our second video we discussed PFC circuit and I will recommend if you have not watched these videos yet Please uh, follow the links in the description. Watch this this video and then watch this video. So you can follow the sequence. And I will request if you have not subscribed my channel yet, subscribe it. And if this video is good for you, give a thumb up after watching this video. If you have any comment, if you have any suggestion, if you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Let's start. This is line voltage and this line is far neutral so neutral after passing through first stage second stage it will reach at this point and line voltage after passing through first NTC second NTC these voltage are reaching at this fuse here we have secondary fuse here we have 30 ampere fuse and here is 3.15 ampere fuse and we have we have bypass relays then the voltage after surge protection the voltage will reach here at this point here we have NTC negative temperature coefficient resistors after passing through NTC these voltage will reach at this point D3 and D49 these are two series diodes D3 D49 and voltage reach at this capacitor this capacitor will charge here we have transformer and it is using TNY278 IC how is the circuit configuration NTC two rectifiers in series then we have capacitor this line is connected directly to the neutral here we have TNY278 it is 132 kilohertz switching IC it will switch the primary we will take voltage in the secondary and auxiliary winding in secondary we have two sections 12 volt section one rectifier and one capacitor second section is 15 volt capacitor 15 volt directly output and 12 volt out and then we have 7805 IC and we will take 5 volt so this circuit have a feedback circuit that will monitor the 12 volt section because 12 volt section is most important because from this power supply it is taking processor voltage so here we have voltage divider network TL431 and optocoupler and when the voltage will maintain at this pin then it will drive this transistor output transistor and the voltage will reach to the control pin of 278 TNY278 here we have VCC capacitor this is 100 microfarad 450 volt capacitor DC this circuit is rubber circuit let's check I will connect power friends if you have not a good practical experience in dealing with power electronics never do this practice never try to hear I will apply one line to the neutral here and the second line we will connect to the fuse because in this board I removed the bridge rectifier so I will we will test only this section the board is turning on now there were two click sounds from the relays for bypass bypassing the PTCs for surge protection so this circuit this time the circuit is on we have red light here 
because it is waiting our this section is on but this section is still waiting it is trying to turn on and off these relays and now it is generating error code the red light is blinking so that means there is something wrong what is wrong because if the circuit is good we have bridge rectifier here and we have PFC circuit here so it will operate for a pre-check and it will measure the voltage from these three resistors 1, 2, 3 and processor, processor will check the voltage if voltage are not correct on this line then it will generate error code and based on the value of the voltage on these capacitors it will turn on and turn off the bypass relays set multimeter to measure AC voltage it is 234 volt neutral and phase DC voltage at capacitor it is 323 volt 323 volt now we have to check the output side in the output section we have one capacitor here, second capacitor and third capacitor. This line is common line because this is common for the both capacitors. So this one is common line. This point is positive for first capacitor. This point is positive for the test point for the second capacitor. And here we have test point for third capacitor. So we have to check on these TPs, test points. Connect black lead at the common pin common test point and check voltage here it is 12 volt 12 volt check at this TP 15 volt and it is 5 volt and if we check at pin number 1 it should 12 volt so 12 volt are applied to 7805 IC 7805IC so it will take 12 volt and it will give us 5 volt regulated this 5 volt for the processor and all pull up resistors for optocouplers for communication system and everything this 12 volt is biasing for the relay driver for here relay section ULS 2003 this IC 15 volt these 15 volt are reaching at IPM drive section so IPM drive section if our these power supplies are not good we cannot find the stable voltage the circuit will not work properly if 5 volt are not good not regulated have fluctuation low voltage over voltage the processor microprocessor will not work properly in that case it will show errors and it will also generate communication error as well because the same positive 5 volt are used to bias up the communication ICs <coughs> these 5 volt are also reaching at these optocouplers for communication network U7 and U8 TNY278 here we have snubber circuit diode capacitor and we have these resistors 1, 2, 3, 4 these 4 resistors for snubber circuit from this line to this line and it is connected to diode and capacitor and here we have this diode for auxiliary voltage rectification and these voltage are at capacitor and here we have optocoupler optocoupler will switch when we will receive 12 volt in the output this same 12 volt if we see here this small line is reaching here at this voltage divider network and it is connected to reference pin of this TL431 the output pin of this IC will drive the drive section of this optocoupler and optocoupler will switch when the voltage are maintained 12 volt if we have fluctuation we must verify the voltage if we have fluctuation in any voltage uh, the voltage are not in within specified limits for example it is 15 volt it should 15 volt and must be stable 12 volt must stable 
5 volt must stable if any voltage are not within limit or it have fluctuation or some errors the next circuit will not work properly so it is taking 6.3 volt control voltage from the auxiliary winding so these are the control voltage these must be stable so friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up if you have any question let me know in the comment box if you have not subscribe my channel subscribe it to watch my videos in future press bell icon button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh